the players that are good, and probably not this weekend, maybe not the next, but the following weekend, maybe. Uh, uh, I might do a invitational 1v1. Alright, so Rafi, Rafi from back in like the Jambi in them days, I uh, helped train this guy up. I was actually favoring for him to get to the, the semis last night in that tournament. But uh, he sadly got knocked off two to one in uh, round right before the quarters, or was it the quarters? I don't remember. He got knocked off early. I was sad about that. Though my pick to win Sweets did win, and my pick to lose the finals Alf did lose. Um, Prim actually got uh, got cannibalized by by Sweets. My my picks for semis were. Uh, Sweets, Alfonso, and Rafi, and, um, yeah, Rafi got knocked off early, and then Prim got cannibalized by Sweets, so, if it wouldn't have been for that, he probably would have made it to the semifinals, uh, but he got hit, I think, in the quarters. I probably need to shut up and actually play against Rafi here. Alright, guys, I'm shutting up, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play it until I get like a two game. Yeah, I think Rafi would be invited. I mean, it looks like he's not as good as I thought he would be here after so much practice. It's because he took time off. But he's still is still better than 95% of the people out there. Maybe 99% of the people out there. Yeah, Prim is pretty good. Prim's first day, I played him several times. Because he kept wanting to uh, learn off of me and get his face beat. But uh, it helped. And I think he went and played Sweets a bunch. I think he played Alpha a bunch. I and mean, he was he was thirsty for uh, knowledge and practice. Which you got to commend. That's, that's pretty awesome. Nice shot. Yeah, he did take a game off you in the quarters. Did not take a game off me last night, though, when we played. He did take two sets, though. So they, he did take some sets. A couple of sets. Let's throw. And I messed up. Yeah, Ishii. That's why I say I can respect that. I mean... That, and we both kind of wanted to play, keep playing, and the, uh, the freaking thing would be over. The, uh, the thing would be over, so we do overtime. The playtest would be over at midnight, and we're like, let's jump in the game, let's play. We play for an hour and a half. Oh, really, Sweets? I thought you would play them. Maybe it was Dubes or somebody. I don't know. Uh, somebody said they played him a lot besides Alf. So. Should've seen that coming. Not a lot of people blocking, doing stuff blocks against me, because usually I'm the one up on the net. Usually I'm the one up on the net, so I'm usually not getting stuff blocked, so I don't even look for it. Really. Short hop! Yeah, Ishi, I still thank you to this day for uh, beating my face in all those overtimes on my stream during the Thursday playtest. Before we had founders, I, I'm still very appreciative of that. To this day, I call you my sparring partner because of that. Because you taught me a lot, good sir. Taught me a lot. And in turn, I taught other people in the community. It's just kind of your it's your coaching tree, man. It's your coaching tree. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the uh, the follow, team. 
Teebs! Teebs! Yeah, you're getting too greedy, Rafi. If I get to play on the cross, and you're not throwing around me like Foe was doing tonight, I can I can do some damage with that stuff block. Let's see, yeah, or throw around. But yeah, thanks for the follow teams. See me pull back and do my actual throw right there. I should have had that. I was in range. I just pulled too early. It's like pressing your button too early and blocking on accident. Same thing with the stick. I have a bad habit of doing that. I was almost there. I thought he was going to throw it actually because he saw me running up. Whoopsie! Whoopsie! Up to 29 viewers. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Gatekeeper is alive and well. I already had two uh, gate matches. They did not pass through the gates, through the pearly whites, into the disc jam arena of the gods. Um, you should learn Steppins really well if you're Stanton. If you're McKenna, just stay on the back line for a little bit. Um, and try to get him to lob it to the point where you can just get a super off it. And then literally as he's lobbing... Oh shoot, I didn't even realize what the score was. As he's lobbing, because his whole thing, what it looks like, is when he does slide, he will lob because he knows he can't get a perfect. So... Um, and it'll put you on the back line. So if he's not going to get a perfect, he might as well put you on the back line, right? Um, and at that point, you know, if if he's doing that too much, it's like when I do too many filths and stuff like that, uh, it's really easy to just kind of get to him. Stand on the back line for a little bit. Wait till he throws one near you. Quickly get under it and get the super off of it. And then just walk forward, see what he does, and then choose your super based off of it. That's the best way to kind of deal with it. Those two things. Step-ins, and then just, uh... Doing the whole super thing. See, in Sweets, I was standing way closer than that multiple times, pointed straight forward versus you. And I didn't get the stuff block. And Rafi gets it running sideways, like halfway to the, uh, the midline. No, a quarter of the way down the court. See? <laughs> there was one right there! What was that? But yeah, those step-ins. That's probably the only reason that I beat Bot was just because of my step-ins. I was able to step into those lobs and actually keep my juice going, my juice streak going. So, um, step-ins are a really big technical thing that you have to learn to do. Alright, one more versus Rafi, if I can get this win here. Like, I don't know why people stand in the circle and wait for it. It's so much harder to get a perfect that way. And they said they are going to fix that, but I, I... You know, stepping in is a technique thing. I don't mind it being in the game. You know? I just would like it if it dragged you in there, like it does sometimes that it would actually uh, let you out if you pressed hard or you double tapped or something. I mean, it, I mean, I guess you could slide out, but then you're not going to get the perfect anyways at that point, right? If you guys notice, I use a lot of the, the block over here, just the plain block, to center myself up. Um, but Stanton, being in the middle for me actually works better. Because then they have to stay in the middle. They can't cheat left or right. And if they do, then I can throw it to that side pretty strong. 
and actually get a good shot on him. Make him slide or get a score. See? He was still over on the left side, so I went right with it. It gave me that extra second to see what he was doing. Granted, it's very similar to DS 2.0, except uh, you don't actually get the, the favorable bounce front. Oh, uh, I should have used my trigger. I was trying to be coy. Oopsie. Yeah, I don't like the auto run either. And I guess it's good. I wish you could turn the auto run off. What? Oh, what that was. Oh, I didn't get my perfect. Wrong on that. Ah, I messed up my stuff. Yeah, I blow your... Is, should I just, do you just want me to call you Shy Kitty Boy so nobody knows? I'll call you Kit Kat. How about that? I'll call you Kit Kat. Oh, ho, ho. sweets. Calm down, man. Not on stream. Jeez, to Ruffy. Yeah, I'll call you Kit Kat from now on on stream. <sighs> Working, man.